Hello there, I am Tabitha Brown, and this is my husband. Chance Brown. <laughs> and welcome to Couch Conversations, and we about to get into something very new, okay? Mm -hmm. And when I say new, I mean newlyweds, all right? It's been quite some time for us. Uh, we, about how many years we in? Don't put me on the spot, huh? Oh, you that, you that was a, this was a it, test. Um, 18. <clears throat> That's right. That's okay. my, <laughs> wow. And that's my final answer. <laughs> I was like, please let it be right. Okay. So I would love for you to introduce yourselves and tell us who you are. I'm Miles Williams. This is my wife, Karen. Hello there. Yeah. Well, you introduced my me. My bad is Karen. Karen. <laughs> Come on. I call her killer. She's nice. Like, Karen, we already talked about it. Karen's Yeah, not, being a Karen in this climate. Uh, okay, okay. Be, let's Killer it is. Killer. <laughs> and this is my wife, killer. <laughs> And how long have you all been, been married? You? What, a year and a half? Year and a half. Year wow. and a half. Yeah. Very good. And what is one of your favorite things about marriage mm. in this early stage? For me, it's the partnership. Being able to have someone that you can rely on, call, like whether it's I had a bad day or rather I had a good day and I want to share the news, I'm excited. I don't know. It's, it's being able to have a partner. Yeah. yeah. I think the challenge has been fun. Like oh. we, we got married in an interesting way. Okay. Um, but also in the middle of the pandemic. So like oh, wow. we've had a lot of time to just get to know each other and, and work through tough things and have fun and celebrate each other. And it's been a good time. Got shut down together, didn't Got you? shut down, <laughs> locked in. My yes, Lord, my yes, Lord. very good. All right. Look, your turn, go on ahead. <laughs> Do you want me to introduce you or? My name is Major, <laughs> huh? And, um, and this is my beautiful wife, Nichelle. We are celebrating one year. We just celebrated our one year mark. We did it. You Yo, did congrats. it. Huh? Okay. Congrats. Huh? Yes. Lord, we did it. Very good. And, and in this one year, mm -hmm. what is something that you found that you really enjoy about marriage? I would say kind of like what Karen said, or Killa, sorry. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just having someone to be there um, through anything. You know, um, good moments, not so good moments, just having that person with you. And we got married in a pandemic, too. So mm -hmm. it's like my person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I, I think for me, it's remembering that we actually are friends. Mm -hmm. That helps. It helps. It brings it right back center. Oh, this is my friend. Mm -hmm. I like you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. I like you. Yeah. Very yeah. good. I love that. You my friend too, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On most days. <laughs> you my best friend, as Quest was saying. Yeah. So, uh, as I said, you know, we, we've we been doing this for a long time, so we're not newlyweds. And once upon a time, we were. I, sometimes I think, though, because we were together for five years before we ever got married. Mm. And so I often feel like our newlywed phase was in our dating phase. Mm -hmm. uh, so we didn't really technically have what I feel would be like maybe a traditional newlywed face because we was already living together. We had the baby, honey, baby was the flower girl, okay? <laughs> 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 we were already in, uh, which made it easy to have an argument early on in our newlywed phase. Like, oh, we've been doing this for five years, you know? Yeah. So as newlyweds who haven't been together, like how, so your story is a little bit different. Yeah, Can you share well, with us like how you met and then into your newlywed phase? Yeah, so we, we got married as strangers. Uh, like literally, we the day that we met was our was our wedding. And wait, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we yeah. got married on TV and as strangers. Wow. Um, and that was world. oh, that's y'all. That's <laughs> us. Hey. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're real people. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not as crazy as we seem, right? I hope not. No, 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 no. no. I believe y'all, like, so yeah. far. Yeah. No, I mean, and it was it was a, a journey. It's been a journey. Um, we really did not know each other. And so we actively had to to learn how to to like each other and then to become friends and then to love each other. And so to it's been a- To live together. To live together, yeah. to, to argue together, all yeah. of that. And um, it's, been a, it's been a fun ride. Yes. So I'm Did curious. I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm yeah. I gotta gotta get this out there. You got your yeah. perplexed so, look, face. When, uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. So I got a question for you, and and I'm, I don't want to make it. I'm not gonna put it on you, but I'm gonna hold you responsible for somebody else. That's how I feel like I can get to a real answer. All right. <laughs> mm. Would you advise your family, friend, brother, sister, to do it the way that you did it? Can we curse? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Uh, no. 
Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Nah, yeah. I wouldn't wish that on, on my enemies. You, you know, it's funny you say that because we always tell our children, don't do it the way we did it. Mm-hmm. We were so young. We were mm-hmm. 19. Mm-hmm. Live your life. Right. Right. So each scenario, although it turned out great, here we are, right? And you're still here. Yeah. Uh, each scenario is different, but there's still like a this advice that you give after living it. Like, mm-hmm. and don't no, go ahead and find yourself, live your life, and mm-hmm. you know, those type of things. So yeah. but how old are you all? I'm 27. I'm 31. Okay. All right. Oh, you got a cougar. Oh, uh, look. <laughs> <laughs> My little young thing over here. <laughs> Okay. But both of y'all look about 25, okay? Yeah. So very good. Um, and so with with that, you know, how did you all, you know, meet or I, I think you said kind of got back to each other? How, like, tell you me the details. You want to tell it? Go ahead and tell it. <laughs> well, I can start it, but um, let's see. We met first in high school. Oh, okay. Dang, yeah, and nice. we went on our first date <laughs> in high school. Um, Major was like really good friends with my cousin. Mm. So he was, I just remember him like always being around. And yeah, we went on that first date and he was- I took it to Olive Garden, beautiful people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> always welcoming sponsors. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, but uh, I took it to Olive Garden um, right before I was about to graduate, uh, uh, when I was about to go to college. And she finally said yes to going out on a date. Yeah, I took her to Olive Garden. She w- she seemed to enjoy herself because she ate everything uh, that was <laughs> wow. presented. No, we we ate. We enjoyed the food. You yeah. know, yeah. unlimited mm. salad and breadsticks at that yeah. time. That's it. Yeah. And uh, and uh, good, and, and, and and she then said, I found out that she said he's too old fashioned. Ooh. And I was like, okay, cool. She'll be back. <laughs> we never connected again. She said we went on a second date, but I don't yeah. I don't remember that one. I guess I was oh, wow. so disres- I felt so disrespected for the sure. first. For sure. You know, we hold on yeah. to offense yeah. different, you yeah. know. And I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm getting better. <laughs> and so um sure enough, three years ago at the wedding of her younger cousin, I had to sing Why I Love You. And Oh, that the- says it right there. Right. Yep. Hey, you go, can't be singing at deal. weddings with no, 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 people no, 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 doing deal. dates with and, you. and let me tell you, because at the wedding reception she said, I see her, and I'm like, is that Nichelle? You know, Nichelle done The blossomed. rehearsal. The re- rehearsal, yeah. yeah the before re- the wedding. Re- yeah, before the, yeah. Uh, and and she, and I'm like, I'm like, is that Nichelle? She done blossoms. You know, she's a. And he shouts out across, <laughs> he shouts out across the restaurant, Nichelle, Nichelle. Uh, <laughs> this was the first time I felt cool. Like, I, because, you know, my career is doing its yeah, thing. Yeah, you in a good mm-hmm. space. Yeah, I'm in a yeah. space where it's like, man, I don't, I, I don't got a bed. You know, mm-hmm. I'm walking, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> You know, and so I see it, and I said, I said, I said, Nichelle, Nichelle, and she turns around, and I said, let me talk to you. And we go talking, and she's, you know, shuffling a bit. And this literally is my first time where I ever felt as confident. Mm. And I said, so, so, you know, how's everything going? She says what she's doing, and then she says, what about you know, you, and I said, well, I'm doing, you know, this with music and some acting. And she says, I know I've, you know, I've heard. And I said, oh, oh sure. you know. <laughs> so you know how I'm doing. You've been checking <laughs> so, on you know, me. So you keep it tight. <laughs> okay. Tabitha. Okay. You know, and, and so <laughs> we, we fast forward, we exchange information and she's back. <laughs> wow. So, so, wait, how, was so after y'all exchange information, <laughs> did y'all, huh? See the prank. Oh, look, honey. She's <laughs> back. I see, I see. Jason of Beverly Hills. That was three years ago. And then so y'all just started yeah. communicating and it's been. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we got married a year ago in the pandemic, which we, I'm sure you all know is that was tough. Yeah. Right. Well, and I was mm-hmm. yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was gonna say too, we were doing that long distance. So he was mm. in California here in LA and right. I was in Texas. Oh. So the entire time we were dating, that was long distance. And so kind of like y'all, but not exactly like when we got married and moved in, that was both of our first time living, living together. with someone. So. And and I come from a big family. She comes from a smaller uh, immediate family. Um, I'm used to, you know, sharing space, but I also know how to define my space. Um, she, uh, one of the things during the pandemic, we, we were apart, um, but we would see each other once a month. I would either go there, she'll come here, but it would be like a, a extended weekend. Mm-hmm. When the pandemic hit, if you go somewhere, you had to stay for two weeks. Mm-hmm. And then we really started seeing each other. And I'm mm-hmm. like, 
I already asked her to marry me, you know? <laughs> you know, I'm learning some stuff. I'm learning, you know, oh man, this is for real. Yeah, and, right. and so, but once you're in it, you in it's it. new lessons. And yeah. I'm like, Jesus, this is an adventure. This good, good, good and challenging. You know, the, the thing about, uh, as you now know, as newlyweds, right? But the thing I always tell people, you don't know anybody until you've lived with them. Ooh, you you yeah. can have sex with anybody. Mm -hmm. But until you live with someone, mm -hmm. you don't know. You don't know what kind of habits they have in the middle of the night, how mm -hmm. they wake up in the morning. You don't know if they don't like taking baths or if they like to the brush their teeth. I'm so glad she likes eat. to bathe. You know, it's just little things that you be like, oh, that's how you live in? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So when you, as a newlywed. Yeah, she's not talking about me. I ain't talking about you, babe. No. Trust <laughs> yeah, you. Know I mean? We got but, you. I bathe most days. <laughs> but, hey, have you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you found that in this, you know, in this new stage of learning each other, things that that have brought about challenges with how you, you know, perceive someone and then actually the reality check of like, oh, this is actually, you know, ex actually is how this person is. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I have one. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me set up real quick. Let me set up real quick. So. We obviously all know how we met, but it was our first time ever living with like Anybody. a partner yeah. before. Mm -hmm. So like I had roommates in college, you know, you like you said, you don't know somebody, so mm -hmm. you live with them. Right. But moving in with Miles and like seeing how different he was, like after he's worked all day, yeah. like those sorts of things, I'm like, you are so chill. But like meeting him, he's he's up here yeah. all the time. He is the exact opposite at home like at home i'm like are you alive yeah. like yeah. hello wow. yeah and then vice versa like yes. in public she's very like quiet like likes to ease fade into the background but at home she's bouncing off the wall yeah, twerking a meg zone. like trying to talk and i'm sitting here like hold up this ain't the killer that i met like what's up with that All right um but but it's, it's interesting and i think that like you also like see so many things about yourself that you didn't realize like i don't yeah. close doors like that's the thing that I just don't wow. do. I didn't realize that. And she's like, Closet, can you please close the, can you close the door? Can you close the door? I'm like, I, I guess I didn't close that door. I'm sorry, right? And like so cabinets and cabinets, drawers Cabinets, drawers, just like, like it'll be just cracked a little bit. Yeah. And, and, oh. and that bothers her a little bit. Another thing about you, uh -oh. Uh -oh. he doesn't know where, <laughs> he don't know where anything is in our house. No. Oh yeah, he know where it is, he just don't want to go get it. Oh, I'm is sorry. That, is that I normal? I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> is that normal? I don't know where it is. Yeah. It's normal. Yeah. Does he yeah, he don't know. No, where I know where I know where everything is. <laughs> yeah. this one, I'm OCD. Oh. I, I'm the OCD when she's like, "Well, I mean, if you look, for me, I'm like, it's there, 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 yeah. and yeah, that's so. Yeah. There's things that I guess I, you know, I'm an extrovert in general. Mm -hmm. She's an introvert in public. She has a way of being more extroverted with her feelings when she gets in that rhythm. Mm -hmm. Y'all know introverts really are the most hilarious people when they are comfortable, you know? And when she's comfortable, it's it's like, whoa, oh, there she is. She done <laughs> blossomed. Um, and so I think oftentimes people think that that dynamic doesn't, doesn't show inside of our household, but there's a lot that we get to see each other, see of each other once we find that comfort, you know, because it's like we can trust each other, so we're able to share in a way. I got a question, it uh -huh. just, this just popped up in my head. Are uh -huh. you, are you uh, religious? Yes. Um, from the South, right? Religious. Christian, you went to my church. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you went to the same so this church. Is, this is gonna be a great question yeah. then. So now that you've been married for one year, right? And how you came about marriage and all of that, and you saying you've learned new things, what is your take on shacking? Mm. As I know that we're very- Ooh, you're gonna, ooh. <laughs> no, you, you go, bro. You want me to go? <laughs> Let me tell you this. I have always been the, the, the kid that, my imaginary best friend was Jesus, as, as as corny Christian as that sounds, mm -hmm. that was my imaginary best friend. Mm -hmm. So I've always wanted to do things as I understood Bible to say. So shacking, and you down south, shacking mm -hmm. is when you live together before you're married, yes. you know, mm -hmm. and um, and you're most likely doing the other stuff uh -huh. before you're married. Yeah. 
there, I have a, an interesting new grace for it now that I'm married because I believe that there are lessons learned that can contribute to you being better suited with the person you do your forever with yes. from that experience. Mm -hmm. I think what possibly could be taken that is still consistent with my faith is that know who you're going to shack with, have the intention of a forever with them, have an intention of that's gonna be the one I'm gonna marry. Don't just shack just to shack, you know? Um, and a lot of times people shack because of convenience, you know, financially, that's, that's what it is. But I, I do believe if, I, I do believe I'm like, I was saying, I can't get mad anymore. Like, yeah. I get it. Cause when us first moving, I'm like, oh, you're different than me. <laughs> like you do it different. Yeah. That's, I could have learned this had I had a little time mm -hmm. with you before. And like, and now I won't be as a, you know, you get offended. But the thing I guess with marriage is it protects mm -hmm. the, it, it like, guarantees that we're going to be offended together then. Mm -hmm. We're just going to yeah. work through this offense. That's a good, you know, that's a good it's point. like you can't yeah. just have outs. That's the difference between yeah. Shaq and you. You can have an out right. Right. When, right? when you have the difference of opinion. But marriage is like this, this grace bubble that says, nah, y'all stand in this ring until y'all figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Where, where I, think, I think you're completely right in terms of like it, people having it for doing it for convenience. But I think also I can easily see how people can become complacent or content and just stay there. Yeah. You know, because like I know every day when I come home, like she's held it down. She's taking care of things. And I'm like, well, if, if we weren't married, it'd be like, oh, OK, cool. This is nice. Like there would be no incentive to like. <laughs> right. Really right. To continue, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But like we when so because on, on our rough days and we're like, I'm tired, she's tired and we don't feel like talking to each other, or looking at each other. But we're like, hold up, look at our finger. And we're like. We gotta work through this. We gonna, we, gonna, <laughs> we gonna figure this out, you know. Yeah. And so I think it's shifted a little bit. But I think I, I could not have imagined living with someone before I lived with Killer because I probably would be like, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna live by myself. I just I, I, like, live by, <laughs> I, I enjoy living by myself. So I'm glad that I'm glad we we met the way we did and and that we we gelled the way we did. Very good. Well, we shacked for five years, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, did, we did, and that's our business. But the Lord has still honored us, okay? <laughs> oh, that yeah. grace, that grace. He has given us grace. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So um, in this journey, what are some things about yourself you have learned? And maybe you learned it through your, your spouse, right? Some traits about yourself or some new things that you feel like you've learned about yourself. Snap. Um, I feel like I learned a lot. I think one of the biggest things is I'm very open about mental health. Um, I was diagnosed with depression like six years ago. And I've been just very vocal about that. Um, and because I talk about it a lot, it seems like I have it all under control, but it's hard. And so, but I've never actually had to lean on somebody um, or I've never really been able to lean on somebody. Um, and see, buddy, made me even emotional, bro. Yeah, I ain't trying to get I'm, emotional I'm here. Emotional. I ain't trying to get emotional here, safe man. Safe space, bro. Safe That's space. Right. No, but I think, safe space. I think the thing is that I, I've realized that I just was, did not do a good job of, like, receiving help. Like, I still don't do a good job of receiving help. But then I've lived with somebody, and I'm like, you know what? Like, I can lean on someone. I can be vulnerable. I can allow myself to, like, fully be me and, and be seen and allow someone to, like, support me and take care of me because I feel like my, my life, I'm, I'm an educator. And so I'm always just pouring into people. Like I'm, I'm making sure my kids are straight, teachers are straight, everybody's good, um, making sure she's good, making sure my family's good. But, but like when it comes to me, I'm like, I'll be all right, I'll figure it out. And so being able to have somebody who's like gentle and kind and like able to let me be me, but also will pry gently and be like, hey, like you don't see myself, like what's up? Let's figure it out. Um, that's been, that's probably been one of the coolest things um, for me to learn about myself and like learn I need to let go, but also having someone who's, who's there to catch me. Yeah. He got me emotional. Uh, that's <laughs> yeah. It's been cool. You want a, you want a moment? I want a moment. Okay, yeah. very good. All right. Appreciate that. Absolutely. <laughs> but very good, very proud of you. Hey, so you gotta yes. beat that. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, that's some that's some powerful stuff. You just being vulnerable enough to to admit that you have a difficulty receiving help as the one who's usually the helper. Yeah. It's, it's something that I deal with just in, um, they kind of coin me as the hope dealer mm -hmm. in, in music. And so oftentimes I'm forever 
giving people methods and strategy on how to uh, approach their circumstance or get through their circumstance. Mm -hmm. And now I'm in a season, thanks to this beautiful marriage experience that is causing me to live the hope I give. Mm. And it's challenging me to live the hope I give. So salute to you no, both. And I'm seeing that you're presently there for him. And I'm like, yeah. yo, this is divine. Yeah. <laughs> this is divine. Yeah. But you can, you can answer. One thing that I've learned, and it is from him, um, Major is acutely aware of emotions like in a room and he can fill a space because he's an entertainer. Um, mm -hmm. And even before I realize it, he's like, hey, what's going on? What's that vibe you're feeling? What's that, what, what are you giving off? And I'm like, I'm not giving off anything. <laughs> like, I'm good. And so it just helps me be more aware and like, um, be more open with him. Like, mm -hmm. maybe I'm not feeling something at that time, but just letting him know and reassuring him. So it helps me be like more aware of what I'm going through and sharing that with him. Yeah. And something, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, something that I've benefited from her is she likes in her problem solving. Uh, you know, I think something most common for us men is we'll fix it quickly. Just fix it. Fix it. Uh, the the beauty of of the woman and the the common uh, mindset that I'm finding is that that women and my wife in particular processes through the problem solving mm -hmm. to help me see why certain things need to be fixed versus how sometimes we see fire water yep. you know fire That's extinguisher Bro, and is. she's like okay. Okay, okay, there's fire over there. So why is there fire over there if there's, the, you know, and then it's like helping me process through it. Now, I will say I think we're about to that I think this processing can go a little long. <laughs> it's a little long, so we can we can speed that up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We can find that balance. It's a, it takes about seven to ten business days. You know three, to five, you know three to five. That's Three to five. Three to five. Three to five. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Just meet me halfway. That's that new talk. Mm -hmm. That's the new talk. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I, I, I feel like That's there's an inside disrespect. Well, see what happened is, <laughs> when you're a year and a year and a half in, you feel like things can move a little quicker. But when you realize that that journey, mm -hmm. it's a process, mm -hmm. right? It's going to take time. Sometimes it might take seven to ten mm -hmm. months. Ah, da, da. Or years, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Right. That's that's what happens. So, the, but the most important thing is uh, self work yes. in, in a relationship, right? Like you know, even as for you with with dealing with depression, right, and not accepting help, mm -hmm. you have to also learn to start with yourself every day. Mm -hmm. You know, right. fill you up Ooh. first so that you can better serve. So that by the time you get back home and get to you, you ain't empty. Mm -hmm. Right? See, right, you still have something to give yourself to settle down by the time you get home, for sure. and then have something to to offer as yeah. a partner, right? Mm -hmm. But knowing that you're safe within yourself because mm, you, you chose you first every day, yep. right? It's a, it's a it's a choice every day, right? But the patience, mm -hmm. the time that goes in, and you, you know you, you're early in, but as yeah. time goes on, you'll start uh, you will start wishing you had more time. Good question. That's, I, now I got something just popped in my. How long? <laughs> is the newlywed fade. Oh. Y'all say, y'all tell us how yeah, long it is. Y'all the ones that have been, been in this. Is it, but is it something that you've thought about? Is it something that you have thought about to where, when am I gonna stop? Because it, there's gonna be anxieties, there are gonna be things that you feel as a result of it being new. Mm -hmm. You haven't asked yourself, like, when does this go away? <laughs> when does this go away? I've kind of kind of thought about it. I don't think it's a year. <laughs> right. I think we have settled in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually really excited for year two because I'm like, okay, we've learned some things to not do. Let's do less of that and more of the things we know that work. And so I'm excited for year two. But I still think it, year two is kind of newlywed <laughs> also. Absolutely. Well, yeah. I, are you saying newlywed or honeymoon phase? Mm. Oh, the honeymoon phase is because that that's that gone. Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know exactly. That, that, chunk, know. that chunk the deuce like in, in the, the <laughs> second day. I was like, oh, so you you packed up? <laughs> I'll say this. Though. Uh, yeah. I'll say this, yeah. and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, honeymoon phases come around again. 
Mm. Right? They, they come around again, even the newlywed phase, mm. because we are constantly changing. Yeah. Yes. Right? The man that he was when I married him is not the man he is today. And I ain't the woman I was. Thank God we have changed and grown. And sometimes you get into a place where you're like, oh, I really, really love you all over again, like in a whole new way. And then some days that you might be like, I don't really like you that much. <laughs> and that's true. But yeah. I love you, though. But I love you mm-hmm. by default because we have a heart. I love the fact that love has a way of keeping when the like is uncertain yes. or the like is, is shifting, yes. you know. And I think we got to be more real with that because, you know, I love the church. The church has made me who I am, but I think the church can do a better job at preparing us for what marriage truly is in its authentic authenticity in all of it. All of like, it. you know, because it's it's often presented as this once you're married, it's better. Just we'll get married. Just yeah, get married. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better. <laughs> but they don't, they don't, not too many think that uh, the church. And just married people, good married people in general, share, share the information, share the truth with the people that are aspiring to do this thing forever. Because it won't, it won't be too so shocking when we step into this realm that has been experienced by so many of y'all, and we discover. Oh, there's still human challenges that we're facing. This stuff doesn't go Everything. away. It's like this mm-hmm. is the better making of us as as together as one, you know. And so it's this is a part of it because I saw it when the first argument we got into. I thought I was failing. I'm like, I don't fail. Major <laughs> don't fail. I, she was like. Relax. I read about this. I read about this. Because <laughs> she's an educated too. Yeah. PhD. I'm so proud of my girl. You know, but she was like, she's like, relax. I read about this. And, you know, books like Kingdom Marriage, if y- y'all are saved, get it. Tony Evans. So amazing. But it helped me realize that those things, that, that challenges and those adversities are a daily thing. So you choose joy. You choose right. happiness. You choose loving yourself first before you step into the realm of now loving everybody else. And, and I'm learning that. Yeah. I'm learning that. Very good. Yeah. But I felt good getting a very good from Tabitha. Because <laughs> this is a new okay. tap, tap. I, I knew you before the, the, the world world knew you. Right. And, and you've been doing that very good for a minute. So it hits different now that the world knows you. Very, very good, thank you. Very good. Okay. Tab. Very good. Uh, now, did you, did you want a moment to, to share before we? I learned I had a lot of anxiety. Mm-hmm. So, like, with how I grew up, you know, my family, Deep South, traditional. Mm-hmm. Mental health is not something that's, like, talked about. Right. So having a partner like Miles, who is, like, this huge mental health advocate. Yes. He was like, hey, like, when we first, my anxiety was through the roof. As you can imagine, (laughs) getting married to a stranger with all the cameras Cameras, around. Cameras. It killed the whole vibe for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, I can't get to know you right now. Like, it doesn't feel real to me. Like, we can't have these intimate moments. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was just like worst case scenario, right? That's how anxiety works. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, he might be faking right now. Like, how is he going to be when the cameras go away? Mm -hmm. And so, like, I opened up to him about all of these concerns, Mm -hmm. which was hard for me. And I was like... I'm low-key losing my mind right now. You know, like, in that moment, I was having panic attacks. I was like, I don't know what is going on with me. Being able to have him let me know it was okay. It meant the world to me. And so, like, a lot of people, they don't understand, like, why our bond is so deep. They don't understand why our bond is so deep. But having someone that really in my darkest moment, for me, that was my darkest moment. Be there for me, stand by me, not judge me, just be there, listen, be present. It meant the world to me. So now like I'm working on my own anxiety because I know I actually have it now. But like, it's it's been like a huge learning experience, huge. Man, I'm so Look proud us, of y'all. Man, right. Look at us. So good. <laughs> That's crazy. Very, I know. I tr- I'm trying. Man. <laughs> you know? And the wild thing is, like, day to day, like, 
Like we, it sounds heavy, right? Yeah. But day to day, like yeah. we're joking and we're laughing and we're figuring stuff out, and so it's interesting to see. Also, oh, y'all do laugh. Yeah, a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot right? We're yeah. joking, we're laughing, we we're having joke fun all day. But then, but then at the same time, like it's interesting because we we talk, we communicate a lot. We talk, we're always talking. Sometimes talking too much, but <laughs> <laughs> but like it's interesting in moments like this when we actually are like truly vulnerable and haven't talked about it in a minute or checked in on each other in a minute and it's like oh snap like we really do hold each other down day to day, to day. and so it's, it's i'm glad that you share that so i appreciate you very good honey look double very good Ooh, today. Say, double very good i am so proud of of all of you you know it's um it's a journey to be married right and it's a sacrifice that you make uh, with each other to say, you know what, I'm going to go on this journey, not alone, but with you and become one, right? Um, and it is rewarding, mm -hmm. right? It's, I always say that marriage works with work, mm -hmm. right? And so you will always work on it every day. It won't be easy as this is, you know, the new times and it feels good. And then the first argument scares you. You're like, oh, Lord, why, why are we arguing? We're supposed to be in bliss, <laughs> okay? <laughs> right. It's okay. <laughs> Right? It will, look, it won't be the first and it won't be the last, right. honey. You know, it can happen and it's all right. So I wish you both the best, you know, abundant blessings over your marriage, over your lives. And uh, keep going. Keep seeing each other. Keep choosing each other. Mm -hmm. But always choose each other first. Choose you first and then get together. Mm -hmm. Right? So you can fill each other up as well. So. Thank you, both. Thank you. Thank you. I love yes. this. <laughs> Thank y'all. Very good, honey. Yes. <laughs>